Hey everyone, welcome to your upper body workout. We're gonna hit shoulders, biceps, and triceps today. 30 second work periods, 15 seconds rest. We're gonna start with a combo circuit, then hit shoulders, then triceps, then biceps. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. All right, let's cross them over. We've got a three minute warm up here. We're gonna start with shoulders and then biceps and then triceps and then just get your overall body a little bit warm. Very proud of you for showing up today. Starting off this workout, just get your mind right. You're gonna feel so much better when you're done. All right, it's a good day to have a really good day. So breathe deep, work hard. You'll be really proud when we're done. All right, just the left arm, big cross and open. Let your body rotate with it and reach back. There you go. Maybe a few pops in your back. <laughs> this one is always one of my faves. Let's go two more and switch arms. Keep it going. There you go. Four, big reach. Three, two, and take your arms right past your body now. Thumbs point back towards your back at the top. Good. And one more big cross over. Great job, roll it up. Take your hips forward, open your chest. All right, good job. Pull your fingertips back. Opening up the forearms here to make sure you get good grip. Great work. Flip it over, hands down, pull back. Pull back. Good work, fingertips are together right here. Reach back and cross. Good, when you get to the back, fingertips reach so you're really stretching out your bicep here. Three, two, all right. Let's take it to some tricep warm ups. Hands together, bend your elbows. Take your thumb back towards the top of your spine and then drive the elbows open, relax. There you go, straighten it up and bend. Good, release your hands, keep that going. Three, two, and one. Palms face the ground, ears drop. Last one here. Keep your shoulders low, three. All right, let's get into your first superset. We've got 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. We start off shoulder press, three rounds here, then we lighten it up a little bit, rear delt flies, okay? Shoulder press in three. I'm gonna start with my 20s and press, let's go. Three rounds here with 15 seconds rest in between. Come on, one, two, one, two. Good, give me one more. Rest for 15, good job. Go up if you can. Maybe round two is your big round, right? Instead of being round three exhausted, let's go heavy round two. Push it up, push it up. Four. Here we go. Great work. 15. Good job. One more. Good. Whew. Okay. One more round. I'm gonna have to drop down, but I'm proud of myself for pushing there. hi yeah, yeah, yeah. Last round of presses. Let's go. You should be getting close to failure here. Not push through easy, I'm done in 20 seconds. Get to that point where you think, I can't press anymore. 
And give me one more right after that. Come on, one more together. Ready? Four. Ah, good. Whew, lighten it up. Let's go down to 10 or 15 pounds. Rear delt fly. Palms face the back. You're hooking back. Okay. This will feel really nice after those presses. Let's go. Good. Keep your chest open, make sure you're not rounded. Good, breathe. This one is tough, we're working to hit right here. So make sure you're not rowing, okay? You're taking it, almost thinking of your elbows, hooking back. Okay, three, let's go. And if you wanna take it from facing your legs to a neutral grip, that's fine too. Just don't shrug, okay, keep them down. Another thing you can do is alternate. Okay, back of the shoulder, lead back with the elbow, rest. This one probably won't go up too much, just stay keeping that connection, okay? It's right here, like you're getting someone behind your back with your elbow. Scoop back. Two, let's go. Good, I'm starting with a hang right here. Pull up just a bit and then straight back to right around your chest, neck area. And rest for 60, beautiful job. You got 60 seconds. If you wanna make this an active rest, hit a little incline push up. All right, while we wait for our next set to start. Next set, we have hammer curls and tricep overhead extensions. Hammers, we're going here. Alternating all three rounds. Tricep extensions, I want you to take it overhead, your heavier weight here in this combo. Bend, extend, okay? Get your weights out, get them ready. Then if you wanna take an active rest, let's hit those incline push-ups, all right? Good. Just keeping the muscles warm here. There we go. All right. Seven seconds, we start hammer curls. Round one, two, let's go. This superset is antagonistic, meaning we have a bicep move in which your tricep has to totally relax. And then we have a tricep move, in which the opposite is true. Bicep has to totally relax. Opposite sides of the arm, antagonistic muscles. One more, two, rest. You know the drill, if you can go heavier, you gotta do it. Try out the second round as your big push round. I bet you will surprise yourself. Two, one, come on. Great job. Totally okay to look right down at your bicep. See your elbow staying right there, not scooping to the side. Good job, give me one more. Breathe. One last round here, then we hit triceps. I'm gonna go up one more time. Like I said, you can surprise yourself with your strength. 
but you gotta go there. You gotta push yourself to that point. Let's go. You gotta try it. Good work, let's go, seven. And breathe. We're taking it up overhead. Tricep extensions. I'm gonna go 25 for round one. And we're pushing ourselves. Let's go, two, one, come on. A little bit of a forward head tilt just to kind of get it out of the way is okay. In fact, the more you take your upper arm back, the better the tricep stretch and the more you get out of it. Safely, of course, but just make sure you're not up here. Okay, should be at least ear or back. Good, all right, round number two in 15 seconds. Go up if you can, down if you need to. That's the name of the game always. Stay right there, go up if you can, down if you need to. Let's go. Great work, 10. And rest. All right, last round here. I think I'm gonna surprise myself with my strength today. Let's push up if you can. Worst that can happen is you have a dumbbell right there, you just drop down and finish the reps out. Ready? Let's get it. Good job, you got 10. One more, three. And 60 seconds rest. Push-ups for your active rest if you would like. As we get further down into the workout, you need this rest in order for your next set to be an effective, hypertrophy-focused, strength-focused set. Okay, the rest variables are just as important in something like this. We're working to get stronger as your working sets. So push-ups if you're still feeling good, you wanna move around, rest if you need to, okay? Next one, we're moving into all shoulders up next, okay? So we've got all shoulders, we've got triceps, and we've got biceps, our shoulder moves. Three pumps to the side, three pumps to the front, boom. Boom, so you're gonna hit anterior deltoid here. You're gonna hit lateral deltoid here. That's move number one. Move number two, close press to extension. Shoulders and triceps here, okay? But mainly focused on the shoulder move. All right, ready? Let's go. Come on, this is next level effort, rest. Good job, two more rounds right there. Go up if you can. If you find yourself swinging or doing this, stay right there or go down and wait. Good reps over everything. Ready, let's go. Good job, feel that pump happening. Blood flow is going to your shoulders. That's good, that's good, you're doing great.
Rest. You got one more round. Keep that up, okay? Keep rocking just like that. Five. Exhale, let's go. Seven. And breathe. Good job. I'm taking one dumbbell. You can also do two. We press up, we overhead extend. Press up, overhead extend. And five. I'm going to start with my 20. Let's go. Keep the elbows in tight when you come down. Good. Punch, punch, punch. Rest. Good. Whew. All right. I think I can go heavier. It's also going to depend on your grip, okay? So keep that in mind. Three, two, one. Let's go. For me personally, I kind of keep a little cradle here, holding the dumbbell here, and then holding with my thumb and pinky finger. So when I press up, it's resting. When I take it back, I'm guiding it back. Four. Rest. One more round there. Then we rest and we go all triceps in our next superset. All right, let's get it. Five, two, come on. Fourteen. Come on, finish, four. <laughs> rest, all right, 60 seconds rest. Active rest option is still to hit some incline push-ups for the next little bit of breathing time. <sighs> next up. <sighs> oh, excuse me. We have Arnold press and lateral raises, then we hit triceps. I think I misspoke a second ago, but Next one, all shoulders, then all triceps, then all biceps, okay? Arnold press is right here. I know you're like, what the heck? We got it, trust me. We got this one. Arnold press here, then we drop it down. Alternating pendulum lateral raises. So as this one's coming down, you start the lift here. So there's always tension on one shoulder. We're never at this spot, right? Okay, 10 seconds, we start with Arnold's. I'm gonna go 15s for round one. Get the movement down, and then hopefully bump it up. Two, one, come on. Last bit of shoulder work for the whole entire day. I pinky promise. And with shoulder work, you're also hitting triceps, if you can tell. Anytime your elbow is bent and then it goes up to straight, that's tricep work as well. So we're involving both of them in this move. And breathe, good job. All right, you know in that working set if you were close to failure or not really. If not really, let's go up a little. All right, round two, let's go.
seven. Can you give me one more? Rest. Woo. Okay. One last round of those. Then lateral raises. Just get comfortable being uncomfortable here, okay? You're doing great work, that's why it's hard. Come on, 12, push. Five. Rest. Oh my gosh. Okay. Done with any type of pressing <laughs> whatsoever. Now we go lateral raises, alternating. I'm starting with my tens. Three. Let's go. When you get about halfway down, lift again on the other side. And if you find that both dumbbells are hanging out at the bottom, you gotta lift off with the other side a bit quicker. Rest. Okay, this is just for the volume aspect of our shorter work today. I need some blood flow going there, all right? Time under tension is everything. Three, let's go. One, two, one, and lift. One more. Great job. Nine seconds. Finish this one out, then we breathe and we move all triceps. Three. Now, your muscles are fatigued, okay? If you want to have an active rest here, take it to some jumping jacks to keep it low impact. Just take it overhead, little punches. Keep your arms moving. Get some blood flowing there. Next two exercises, kneeling kickbacks on your left, kneeling kickbacks on your right. Kneeling can also mean supported here. I just want your body to be supported by either something here or here or here, okay? Something to support your upper body. So you pick the level that you go at. When we do these, I want you to make sure you're not swinging, okay? Keep your elbow pinned right here beside your ribs. You take it 90 to extended. 90 to extended. Take your time, get good reps, not just fast ones. I'm gonna start with my tens. Left arm first, ready? Four. Elbow up and push, let's go. Great job, you can feel it, it's very targeted, right? Keep it up. The more control you have, the more you're going to get effectiveness out of this move. Rest, okay, and you can also play with hand here or hand here. Play with your angles if you would like. Round two, we go in four. Come on.
Keep the elbow up, come on. Ten. Good job. One more round on this arm. I'm keeping it single arm targeted. Triceps are so important for arm definition, firmness. So isolate, hit one side per time. Let's go. Last round on this arm. Good job, nine. Breathe, same thing, other side, three rounds. All right, come on, you're doing great. All right, right arm, elbow up, and four. Come on. Don't panic, keep it strong and breathe deep. There you go. When it starts to get tough, we start to think, Ugh. get panicky a little bit, rush the reps, breathe. You're doing fine. There you go, give me one more good one. Now rest, great job. Don't get uncomfortable, okay? If you need to breathe, breathe. Don't get all panicky and think this hurts, I gotta drop down, this is so hard. You're fine. Come on down again. Three, two, elbow up and push. There we go. I say that because I start doing it too, especially in tricep work, where I think, gosh, I wish I could lift heavier weight or I wish this was easier. There's a reason it's not easy. We are pushing ourselves hard. Okay, stay focused, breathe. You're doing everything you should be. That's it, come on, one more. Yeah, good job. All right, last round, make it your best round. Okay, then we'll breathe, shake our arms out, head to some bicep isolation. Five. Ready? Let's go. This should not be any movement in your upper body or anywhere from your elbow to the rest of your body. It should only be forearm. Okay, so if you're doing anything like this, it's too heavy. Pin it, extend and bend, that's it. Good job, six. One more, breathe for 60, amazing job. 60 seconds, again, I'm gonna take you back to the active rest option of just some jumping jacks or some punches. Okay, whatever you wanna do, or just breathe. I'm just gonna breathe. If you have a bench around you, pull it out. We're gonna go for some bro curls, as we've called them here on the channel. I just call them that because I used to see all the bros at the gym doing them. All right, so tricep supported curl is what it's called, or what it is essentially. All right, taking your tricep, putting it against your inner thigh so that you can't bend backwards any. And then it's just isolated bicep work. Okay, if you don't have a bench, you can also do it just like this. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 15. We're gonna start with left arm, since we just worked the right arm on our kickbacks. Seven seconds. Let's go, three. Whew, come on. Great job. Keep this two, zero, two tempo. One, two, one, two. Rest, and if you need to go heavier, if you felt that was a smooth sailing round, let's bump it up. All right, 
and I say all that just to encourage you. Two, one, let's go. You ultimately know what you want out of each workout. So if you're feeling a day like, I just don't wanna go heavier, I just wanna feel better when I'm done, I just wanna get through this, I feel better with movement, rock where you know you should be rocking, okay? I tell you to push yourself if you're in that place where like me, you just need pushed sometimes, that's why I'm here. I'm also very much here for you showing up, moving your body and feeling better at the end. So whatever that is, keep rocking. And rest. You got one more round on this arm. And I'm just gonna let you focus. Zone in, focus. Here we go. Three, good job. Two, one. Other arm. Five. Two, one, let's go. Also make sure you're not diving down into the curl here, okay? I want you open so you can get a full stretch for your bicep at the bottom which is more time under tension for your bicep versus being here, right? Open it up. Rest, good job. Round two. Four. Come on, three. Go. Don't dive into it. Breathe. One more. Good rest. <sighs> we got one more round here. <sighs> Good job. Ready? <sighs> Grab that weight. Let's go. Three, two, one. to myself as well. Keep rocking. Let's go. Can we get two more? Yeah, we can. Let's go. Six, five, lower. Hit one more. Finish that rep and then you've got 60 seconds to rest. Good work. Whew. Nice job. Jumping jacks. Shadow boxing, if you would like, or push-ups or dips in your active rest or just breathe. All right, we're gonna go a bicep and tricep finisher, okay? Supinated curls alternating, boom, 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 right here, okay? Then we take it kickbacks alternating, boom, boom. I know we already did kickbacks, we're gonna lighten it up a little bit and do alternating arms, all right? Same thing, bicep, 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 tricep, tricep, tricep. 10 seconds. I'm gonna start with my 15s. We go in three, two, one, come on. Think tall, think big, think strong, right? A tall spine so you're not bending into it. Keep your shoulders back so they're not diving down towards your forearm. You are bending your elbow with your bicep to bring that forearm closer.
rest. You know the drill, go up if you can. Have every single dumbbell off the whole rack off your 20, 20, 20. There it is, okay. Three, two. Good focus here, okay? I need technique to be perfect. I need you going up for two, lowering for two. That's it, come on. 10. Give me everything you got. Three, two, yes. All right, come on. This time, I want you to max it out, okay? I want you to start with the weight that you think is ambitious. Let's go, get your mind right. Yes, we can. Two, one, come on. Take this energy into your biceps, come on. Good job, go, go. 15. Fight for it, every single rep. Nine. Come on, come on, six, five. And rest, let's go kickbacks. Good job with the bicep work there. Proud of you. Alternating kickbacks. Hinge, bend your knees just a bit. Elbows up. Two. Let's go, come on. No rush. Good job, 10. Three. Good. All right, you should be feeling pretty hot to the touch, pretty swole, right? Arms should be feeling kind of tight right now. Two more rounds. Two, bend, hinge, let's go. Good, turn your thumb just a little bit inward towards your hip at the top of that rep. There you go. Six. Rest. You've got 30 seconds of work and then we're done, okay? At the top, a little inward rotation of your thumb. Okay, get that good squeeze and that's it. Ready, come on. Bend, hinge, let's go. Come on, come on. Go for it. Push down, push down. 13. Come on, one more. Three, two, one, and rest. You have made it to your cool down. Before you head out, I wanna take a selfie with you. Hit a little flex with me, three, two, one. <sighs> Amazing job, you have to come back to that, that's fine. I wanna see that on your social, us flexing, being proud of our workouts, being proud of what we just did together, all right? Cross your arm over, we'll do it again at the end if you missed that one. If you wanna grab your phone. <sighs> Tag me in your flex selfie, show me that you're proud of yourself. That's what you need, okay? <sighs> you have to be proud of yourself, you have to be grateful for where you're at right now in order to make this journey one that you will stay on. It can't just be work hard and be proud when I get to every goal. Keep working hard. Yes, be proud when you get to the goal, but appreciate who you are and where you're at right now. Find joy in this journey is what I always say, right? Be grateful for you, for your strength, for your dedication to show up today. Pull over. How many people comment below were not motivated to be here, but they showed up anyway, right? Let me know. That's what it takes. That's how we do anything. It's not perfection, it's continuity. 
right? Continuing the journey. When you don't want to and when you do, continue. Great job, drop your arms down, put them right behind your tailbone, gentle push here and open up your chest, lift your chin. Good, palms face the floor. Let's just get a little neck stretch, okay? Right ear to the right shoulder, and with the other arm, push down towards the floor so there's a good stretch here. Switch sides. Good job. All right, workout done. I'm very proud of you. If you want, let's hit a flex selfie again, okay? Grab your phone. Three, two, one. Amazing job. I am so, so proud of you. Thank you for showing up today. Comment below if you showed up and you weren't as motivated as normal, but you showed up because you were dedicated. I'm so proud of you and I wanna let you know that, okay? So I'll see you back here for our next workout. Great work today. Give the video a thumbs up when you're done and I'll see you for the next one.